Hello YouTube, this is another video from Super Apple Forever. So in this video, um, I'm going to uh, basically be kind of reviewing and overviewing of the uh, Nokia uh, 6010. Um, this is an older phone from around um, 2002 to 2003, or maybe um, like late 2003. So um, this is a really old phone. Most people don't use this, um, but I really do like these phones. Um, for somebody that's looking for basic... Uh, um, check your email uh, kind of phone um, I mean you really can't do much with these but they have awesome battery the battery lasts for like a week and um, they do pretty much everything a standard phone does except for they're a very you can buy these for very cheap and actually I got this one for free in one of those e old electronic recycling places at like uh, Walmart or something um, but yeah these are really um, nice phones I have been using these, uh, or I used most of these before I got my iPhone. I used a couple of models of these. Um, this is one of the later models, um, but uh, you can buy these for very cheap, around anywhere from 15 to $25, so they're quite cheap. Um, and just for comparison, here's an iPhone 4, so you can just see it um, there. <clears throat> but anyway, um, I'm just going to show you around this phone a little bit, and uh, I'm I'm actually temporarily using this as my main phone until I get a new phone. I'm actually going to buy a Nokia N8, so this is going to be my temporary phone for about a week. So, um, I'm um I'll just show you you know uh what it looks like inside. This is actually a uh, special edition model. I think it's called the Blue Flame or something, and I'll show you why it's called that in a second. But if, if you can see here, we've got the AT&T SIM card in here, and this is a GSM phone. You can obviously unlock it um, and use it on on uh, T-Mobile or something, but um, let me just show you what this looks like. So you can see there, um, 6010, and uh, yeah, I don't think this is the original battery, but um, it, it usually they say Nokia on them, or they're, they're Nokia branded, uh, but yeah. Um, and uh, so yeah, these these are really nice phones. The battery on them is great. Um, you can see it's got a blue casing around it. Very nice. Um, so the power buttons up here. It's a pretty big power button. And we'll get the Nokia holding hands thing in a second. That you see on most Nokias. I don't know if they do them on the newer Nokias, but there you go. And the reason this is called the Blue Flame, um, I think, or it's either Blue Flame or Blue Fire or something is if you can see here the backlight on the keyboard um, will show through this translucent translucent part it looks a lot cooler when it's darker and uh, it, and it looks a lot cooler like if you're not if uh, it looks a lot cooler if when it's not on camera but it is it does look very cool um, and there's their backlight and uh, you, if you can see here um, I've got a back or I've got a, a singular wallpaper on here um, and then you can see where it says singular down here. So this is before AT&T, so you do know that this phone is at least um, up around seven to eight years old. So, uh, yeah. But it's in mint condition, and I got it for free, and it works, and I like it. Um, it's a good temporary phone, or it's a good backup phone. You can get these and use them as backup phones in case you lose your new f or your current phone or it breaks or you can't find a charger or something. All you have to do is take the SIM card out, put it in here, and as soon as you turn this on, it will work all the time. These things have awesome reception. They're very cool phones, and they always work. Their batteries are awesome, too. So, um, for some reason, I can't get on the Internet with this. They do have Internet, or actually, this, this particular model does. Um, it's a basic uh, cell phone Internet. I, I don't really uh, care for it. As you can imagine, this is like a one-by-one-inch screen, so you've got IM services and this is where you can connect to the internet MediaNet, which is your internet browser sorry about that so um let me go back in the menu that's your uh if you look at this this is your uh, basically your web browser here you can go into go and go to address and you can type in an address at google or, or uh, yahoo and you can look at your yahoo mail on it so that's basic stuff i am uh, text messaging, call log, profiles, which you can put it on silent, vibrate, stuff like that, settings, gallery. Of course, this can't take pictures, so I don't really know why that's there, but organizer, games, and the games are pretty standard, so I really won't show you. Uh, applications, and this is more like, you know, standard calculator and stuff. Extras, so I haven't looked at extras yet. Or, or that's your calculator. 
Um, so connectivity, I guess you can just fiddle around with the. I, I've never said fiddle. I don't know why I just said that. Uh, I guess you can mess around with the settings with the connectivity, like stuff like that. And then we go back to um, I am. So um, it's a very standard phone. Um, these were pretty standard back when they were made. This is your uh, standard middle range phone when they were made. Um, a lot of people had these. They um, there there are more of these made than the uh, V the Motorola Razors uh, V. I think it was V three. Um, but you, you know you can find these everywhere. They're, they're all over the place. Um, a lot of people still use them. Um, uh, so th yeah, th this is one of the nicer models. But uh, if you get one with a uh, standard uh, black and white screen, um, the battery lasts a lot longer because it doesn't have to use that backlight and all that stuff as much. But uh, this is a very nice phone. Um, if you're looking for a standard call text, T9 text, um, standard very, very limited internet browser just to check your email every once in a while, uh, this is probably the phone for you. Um, they're very cheap and very affordable and they're very reliable. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.